Welcome to the 2023 Hawking Classic, being held at Nathan Boone's house in Defiance, Missouri. This is kind of nicknamed the Daniel Boone house, but actually his son Nathan is the one that built it. Daniel Boone's final days was in this house in 1820. Before he got here, he actually lived in Kentucky. And in 1799, Rebecca, a couple of the children and him, left this cabin and moved here by log canoes all the way down the Ohio River and up the Missouri to this location. This weekend, we're going to show you all the cool guns by the Hawking Brothers, some of the vendors, and definitely some of the shooting action going on. Let's get started right now. Mrs. Black Pedder Maniac and Shooter and I made it to the Defiance, Missouri house by 10 a.m. on Friday morning and it was already almost 100 degrees outside. So let's get over here and show you some of the vendors and a little bit of the cool looking hawking rifles on display. Woodworking shops? Well, they even had those back in Jesus' day. Same thing in the 1840s. So you hold it up, it works then, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it hole stripped out holding the... No, it's a leather strap. Yeah, so you're supposed to do that and run the tool you at got the same it. time. Exactly. Wow. Without well, falling know. over. Ear and eye protection is strongly recommended. Peter stopped by the range to try out a brand new, just finished Woods Runner Kibler rifle. <laughs> Let's see how this baby shoots. Nice shot! You made That's that right. thing dance. I knew you would. It doesn't even need to be sighted in. No, it's hitting the middle of it. it Good shot! It. Yeah. Oh, he just paddled that thing. Wow, what a shot! Sweet. What happened? It. Made it cry is what you did. Nice shooting. Peter offered me the opportunity to try the Kibler Woods Runner model. <laughs> There's no way I'm turning this down. Ooh, baby. Ding. That's a sweet shooting <laughs> rifle there. Yep. Oh, 
that thing is heavy in it. Oh, baby. Does that trigger work, I'm assuming? Yep. And yes, like last year, had the opportunity to shoot this 11 pound Hawking rifle. Oh no, choke. Oh, that thing's a cool good gun. Heavy rascal too. It is heavy, isn't it? Wow, that's heavy. <laughs> I know. Wow. Nice. Yeah, I'm with the uh, Militia de San Carlos out of St. Charles, Missouri, and we represent the Spanish that were in this area for about 40 years, from the 1760s, mid-1760s to 1804. A military gun, which is a British brown bass, it was a smoothbore musket. Of course, the uh, Spanish, they would have had a Spanish uh, musket, but they all are basically the same Smooth bore. This one uh, is a 75 caliber. It shoots that size ball. The king was very nice to us. He provided us with this. This is our cartridge. In the bottom is one of the balls, and the rest of it is the gunpowder. You tear open the top, pour it all down the barrel, prime your gun, and fire. This is a Kentucky rifle. This is a Hatfield. And the interesting thing about it, my friend uh, Mark McCoy owns it, so we have a Hatfield being fired by a McCoy, which is kind of interesting. That's a, this is a Queen Anne's pistol. Uh, you might be carrying that because once you fire any of these weapons, you get one shot, you then have to reload. So if you've got two natives chasing you, or two of the British, you want to have one shot and another shot before you have to fight them hand to hand. Oh baby, riding in style now. morning as Mrs. Black Pedimending Shooter and I got back to the Hawking Classic was a different treat altogether. We were greeted with 25 degree less cooler weather and the rain started pretty much as soon as this Boy Scout troop were hoisting the colors. My oh my I can still remember those days when I was in the Boy Scouts of America some 50 years ago. Yes it rained on some of our campouts too. Not much black powder shooting gonna happen this morning. Typical weather in Missouri in August. Arr. While standing at this particular cabin, I noticed this flute player was entertaining these same Boy Scouts inside, giving them a cool history lesson of the era. Since we received what we call here in Kentucky a gully washing rain, <laughs> it's a great time to check out the vendors and everyone that had a tent at the Hawking Classic. So what are we making here at the, at the forge? We're making a sword. 
We're taking a, a double headed nail and heating it up and taking it into a little sword. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's real cool. Isn't that awesome? That is. Look, fireworks. You want to make a sword? So we're going to work down the blade. Take it back to the hilt. You like? Yep. Well. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, me too. Marcus will run with another mark. See if I'm getting better than that. Look at all this rain out here. This is a Uber driver. Yeah. I love it. Uber driver of the rendezvous. <laughs> For a year now, tickets has been sold to various members and the public to have a chance to win a Hawk and Rifle at the Classic. Well, today's the day of the drawing. Let's see who wins. Okay, here he comes, 636. Is this Steve McMullen? Okay, Steve must not be here. Is this, are you Steve? Oh, yes, he's here. Woo! Turn it the other way if you want to. Where are you from? New Melly. Just. I passed that coming from Lentzville from the hotel. Yeah, you don't have to, this is, this is perfect. Recently, the state of Missouri adopts the Hawken rifle as the official rifle for the state of Missouri, thanks to the two representatives starting from the far left, Mozzie Boyd, Doug Clemens, the Hawken builder, Bob Browner, organizers, Rick Weber, and Bob Boyd. These five helped make this event pretty cool to visit. Hang around. Those representatives are actually going to shoot this Hawking rifle here shortly. Bob Boat, Rick Weber, thank you all for inviting me to the Hawking Classic 2023. Fellas, give me an idea. What got this started and uh, what can you tell me about it? Uh, I came up with my idea in 2018 as an NLRA board member uh, and one who grew up in Hagerstown, Maryland, where Sam and Jake were born. Uh, I decided in 2018 I knew the 200th anniversary was coming up. So I reached out to some members uh, of the NMRA who lived in Missouri and said, hey, is there a place we can hold such an event? And kind of pitched the idea. Came out to the St. Charles in the spring of 2019, pitched the idea to them at this wonderful facility. They said, sure. And then from there, it was like, okay, I can't do this by myself, so I need some help. So I knew that the Gimmer Club, I followed them on Facebook. So I reached out to Bob and said, what do you think? And they met. I thought that it would be a really good idea and something that our club would enjoy uh, doing so I took it to the board of, of our club the Gamer Muzzle Loading Gun Club and we uh, Decided yes as a club we would uh, we would support the event and, and put it on so that's what uh, that we did and we uh, had a really nice first year and uh, We're glad to be back here for the second year All right fellas give me a unique feature of this of this Hawking Classic. Tell us a little bit about it Probably the biggest thing is it's free it doesn't cost anything to attend, doesn't cost anything to camp here, doesn't cost anything to set up as a vendor. So it's a free event, history event, talking about not only the, the, the early 19th century of when the country was moving west, and obviously Hawk and J and S, Jake and Sam in St. Louis from 1825 to 1860s had a big part of that, but, uh, but the, there's a lot of historical stuff going on. And then of course the Gimmer Group, they had their own ideas that they wanted to add what we wanted to do. To me, what I feel like is very unique about this event is the educational history aspect of the event. Um, it has the features of a, of a traditional rendezvous where we have shooting and camps and vendors, but also we have seminars where people are coming in who are very educated about the history of the Hawken Rifles, 
Um, we have the Hawkins Shop. We have people who worked at the Hawkins Shop back in the 1970s that are here that are have been doing this their entire life. Wow. And, and they're giving their presentations and talking about the products. They're setting up displays that have the largest displays of original Hawkins rifles and Missouri State rifles that you'll find anywhere. Uh, and it's very, very cool to see that difference. That's activity. awesome. I think I counted 88 Missouri rifles and Hawkins and 12 Hawkins yesterday. Wow. Originals. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed this event last year. It was uh, first of May, I believe it was, or late April. This year, it's in uh, in August. That's what we're here now. What's the dates for the next two years, in 24 and 25? What are y'all doing? Moving it later in the year on us, or what? The place is so busy with weddings and everything else. It's unbelievable. So when we tried after last year, said we'd like to move it towards the fall, they were already booked. Next year, in 2024, the Hawking Classic is on the last weekend of September. I want to see, see you there. As promised, State Representative Doug Clemens has the opportunity to shoot the official rifle of the state of Missouri. Whoa, what a shot. Right. Hey, hey, nice hey, hey, shot. Good. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. State Representative Mozzie Boyd was her opportunity to shoot the official rifle of the state of Missouri. Hey, hey, hey. Is that all right? Who's pulling the string on that thing? Right. I hit something. Yes, sir. Others in attendance couldn't wait for their chance to try the official rifle of the state of Missouri. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Killed it. Oh. Yeah, I killed it. That's like yelling at somebody when they're golfing. You can't yeah. do that. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard it. Nice. Oh, nice. Great nice. shot. Nice shot. Beautiful shot, actually. There you go. Got the buffalo. Nice rifle. Thank you. Oh, nice shot. Oh. That was a good shot. That was cool. Of course, I hit it. Boy, that's nice. Yeah. Why can't you play with the red bear? The 2023 Hawking Classic is in the books for me. Got to see some Missouri State representatives down here trying Hawking guns. That was pretty cool. Flute players. Some of the coolest looking Hawking guns you can imagine. And other fun related rendezvous stuff. Remember, Jesus does love you. But we'll catch you next Sunday on another adventure. Don't worry, I'll find something to do. <laughs> we'll catch you next time.